Morning folks, um, right, chariot time. I enjoyed painting my uh, shirt and uh, figures up the other day, so I'm thinking I need a shirt and command chariot. And I've got these, uh, several of these figures, but I've got a couple here. And what I'm thinking is I can uh, cut the sword off and drill that out uh, to make him as a standard bearer. Um, sit him in the chariot. These are my own chariot cabs that I've made slightly larger to fit these uh, these figures. The other figure could uh, remain as a with a sword. I'm going to have to squeeze them in a bit. So I'm going to have to chop the bases down. Um, yoke. Fit the yoke on there. I'm just going to have to cut off the uh, the supporting bar here, but that'll be fine. So I can fit this underneath. And I think make up a uh, shirt and command chariot. Also got another chariot here that needs uh, that needs basing up. This is the uh, the Hittite command chariot. So I've got to just take that out there, the support, so I can put a yoke. These are metal yokes. I've got bucket loads of these. I don't know why. I bought them in a job lot. Uh, I had some wheels and yoke poles and chariot bodies and several years ago. Somebody was selling on a bring and buy. I think it was bring and buy. Could have been, yeah. So I think I'm going to get him base up as well. That's a Mahitite chariot. And I think I'll get my shirt and command chariot. I mean, every good general needs a chariot. I've got these horses that are painted up already. I've stolen these from the Egyptians, but they'll be good enough. Right. I'll get cracking and a waffling, um, sort things out, see what I can come up with, and then come back to you. Right, there we go. Um, we've got the, this is the Sheridan Command Chariot. I've got it sorted out and undercoated. Obviously the horses are finished. I think I might have to paint the eyes, but I've just uh, glued the yoke pole and uh, yoke bar across. And I've uh, got the two figures ready. I had to chop the feet and toes around uh, down a bit to get them to fit, but they're all, they're all complete. Um, the standard bearer is going to have a, uh, probably a sun disc with a little bauble on top of the pole so uh, I'm now going to get those all sorted and painted and uh, then I'll be the chariot to paint so I'll uh, make some progress and then get back to you right there we go <clears throat> in the main we have one completed Sheridan command chariot I've obviously got to uh, uh, varnish stainer everything uh, I'm just going to put the white on the arrow flights and on the end of the yoke here, I'm going to put some gold on that once it's all assembled. Flagpole's going to have the sun disc on. Um, but yeah, they are done, ready for, there they are, ready for uh, staining. And uh, that's the uh, the chariot body again, just going to have a bit of dry brush on there. And then the flights, and then I shall sand and glue. Uh, that's the metal yoke pole. Oops, it's showing you a metal yoke pole. I've just got to bend that, make sure that's in the right position before I glue everything down. Uh, I'll obviously stain it first. So I'm going to crack on with that, get these two figures stained and fitted into the cab. And uh, what I'm going to do then is put the shields on afterwards. It's an easier way, so they'll actually hang over the front of the cab, I think, for this guy. But yeah, that's my plan. And then the standard bearer is going to fit in the back here somewhere and have a shield if he can. <laughs> if he can't have a shield, I'll, uh, I don't know what we'll do. I'll put it somewhere, but I'll sort that all out. Right, back in a tick. Right, um, there we go. One Shadana or Sheridan Command Chariot. Oh, finish, ready for total final basing up. Uh, just take it off so you can see this is what we've got so we've got the two horses and this is my chariot base my own chariot I made the cab obviously slightly larger so we can get the figures easier so we've got a couple of figures in there I've had to chop down the feet to get them in um, that one's had the sword hand chopped off and sorry the sword chopped off and the hand drilled out to take a standard and I've gone for another one of these sun disc type standards and I've got two nice large Sheridan type shields uh, which uh, I like <laughs> the 
so I'll just sit him on there and that's how that will look. Also getting on well with the Hittite chariot, which you haven't seen much of, but I've, uh, I've taken that off, put a new yoke on there, and that should sit, oops, he says, shield's painted, move that back a bit, that'll sit on there, and I'll get him all finished up as well, and the shield's stuck on him, um, so I can do him at the same time. Uh, so this is the Hittite command chariot, and that's the uh, Shudan, Shudan or Shadana command chariot. Right, well that one's done ready for basing, just got to uh, glue that on, and I'll get on and get this uh, this one sorted and ready for basing. Um, only a couple of bits to do on this. So, back in the tick. Okay, there we go, we're all done. Uh, that's the Hittite chariot, I've just... Finish that off, sort it out, put a nice big shield on the front, and he's ready to base up. Um, so I'm going to stick these down, line them all up, obviously, uh, so they fit uh, fit perfectly, he says. <laughs> and then I'm going for a uh, sand and glue base. Uh, sand and glue, I put a bit of extra around there to hide the base of the, uh, the chariot, um, and the base of the horses. Um, there'll be sand paint two dry brushes and a few tops. So I'll get all that sorted and then come back for a final roundup. Right, there we go. All based up and finitoed. Um, standard desert basing, as you can see, and I put a few tops around. Uh, put a few tops to hide the um, base support underneath the wheels. Uh, as I say, this is uh, it's my own chariot. I can't seize myself because I need a bigger cab to get these figures in um, so it's my chariot um, foundry uh, crew and foundry horses same again here with the Hittite foundry horses uh, my chariot and uh, foundry Hittites oh, I think they've been chopped and changed that was a spearman I've drilled out the spear and I put like a baton in there and uh, he's got a some kind of sun disc with some gold tassels yeah, so there we go. A couple of chariots finished. Uh, the shirt and to go with the figures I did the other day, and Hittite still add to my Hittite army. Um, so progress not too bad on these, I don't think. I don't think I'm doing too badly. Uh, I'll take a few stills, put them at the end so you guys can see them. But uh, that's my uh, biblical chariots for today. So. Thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.